Hey guys, Proper English here, and today I'm going to show you an 8 bit square root extractor. This thing's pretty cool. I've actually built a larger one before, a 16 bit version, but I thought this would be best for doing a demonstration. And in fact, this is my first build on Cube Hamster's server, so it's pretty cool. If you want to check out the server, go to his website, cubehamster.net. There's a link in the description. It's got all of the information you'll need to get set up. And so, yeah, let's take a look at this. So, this takes an 8-bit input that's all in binary. If you don't know binary, check out my tutorial, or you can just follow along now. I'm going to do a quick review, and then we'll get into it. So when we're dealing with binary, each input doubles. So we start at 1, then we go to 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and our 8th bit is 128. We're going to start by taking the square root of 225. So we're going to turn a bunch of these on, and the total value of those bits is our input. So we'll start with 128, then we're going to turn on 64, that brings it to 192, add on 32, that's 224, and one more brings us to 225. The square root of that is going to be 15, and that's what we've got over here. So 1, 1, 1, 1, or 15. We can see that's 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14, plus 1 is 15, it's correct. And in this case, we don't have a remainder. So this thing gives a remainder if there's extra. So if there's not a perfect square, it gives the leftover value as a remainder, not a decimal, all right? So uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's check that out. So we'll add 6 to what we've already got and make it 231. And so we turn on 2 and 4. And what we'll see is now we've got this same thing over here. All four bits are on on, on the output, and that's our 15. But then we also have a remainder of 6. So remainder 2 is on, remainder 4 is on, and that's correct. So let's come over here, and we'll turn all of these off and try a second example. And, uh, and yeah, so let's do another perfect square. And we'll start off, I think we'll do 144. We'll turn 16 on here. And we can hop over quickly and check this out. It gives us 4 as an output, right? So 4 times 4 is 16. That's correct. All right, so now let's turn the rest on. We'll turn 128 on. So 128 plus 16 is 144. And what we'll see is our output is 12. So 8 plus 4 is 12. So 1100. Zero, zero. That's correct. 12 times 12 is 144. And yeah, so there's no remainder. And so let's try one more. This time we'll do one that's not a perfect square. Okay, so let's try 37. So we'll start by putting 32 on. And then we'll come down, we'll put 4 on. And actually, that's 36, so that's a perfect square. Let's take a quick look. Over here, we can see it's 0, 1, 1, 0. So 4 and 2 are on, that's 6. And so let's turn that to 37 by turning the 1 on the input on. And, uh, and yeah, so now we still have this 6 output over here, so 0, 1, 1, 0. But then, because it's not a perfect square, we've got a remainder of 1. That's correct. 6 times 6 is 36, plus 1 is 37. And there we go. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. That's my square root extractor. Like I said, this is the second one I've built. The first one was, I think, back in March or something. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to see if I can get a download of this thing for you guys. I'll, uh, I'll try to find that out tonight, and, uh, and hopefully that works out. But I'll get one eventually. And I guess I'll give you a, a little uh, preview of what's going to happen. So. I decided that I'm going to use this plot to build a big calculator, and the first function I thought I'd build is square root. And so that's what we've got here. I hope it got your interest. hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're looking forward to seeing what happens with this thing. It's going to be pretty cool. It's going to take decimal inputs, and uh, everything inside the calculator is going to be in binary, but decimal inputs will make it easy to use. It'll give a decimal output. And it'll have a cool display, and, and yeah, it should be fun. So I'll see you guys next time.